I just got some uh, trail magic from Werther's, that's his name, and a, an apple and Gatorade. So I'm bound and determined to have a good day today. That helped because last night um, a guy camped 10 feet away from me was a heavy snore. Not that I can complain. I don't think I snore anymore though. I think I've lost enough weight that it's gone away. But uh, went to put my earplugs in. They were completely soaked and double their normal size because these earplugs swell up when they get soaked. Uh, so I had to sleep with my, my uh, earbuds in playing like brown noise. It's different than the brown note. So no, I did not crap myself uh, to Jimmy's disappointment. Uh, probably Jeff's too. Or Jeffrey's, excuse me. I used the wrong name. Um, and then at 6.30 it started sprinkling. It wasn't supposed to rain until 10. Uh, it's about 10 now. It hasn't rained yet. So maybe that little sprinkle was it. And then there was a guy coughing violently for a half hour. So, I mean, at least I wasn't him. I just was there laying there listening to it from 6.15 to 6.45. Uh, so, the trail, <laughs> my, my camper buddies are conspiring to make me have a bad day. I'm not going to. Warthers came through. We talked about bears. Said there are bears in the area and that they're big ones. Like, up to 300 pounds, which I think is quite a bit bigger than you'll find in the Smokies. I believe that it's due to colder climate. Animals going to be bigger to, re to maintain heat. Uh, so that's what I've been dealing with for like the last three miles. Is random mud pits. Trying to get to a town called Dalton for lunch, which is going to be at a gas station. Yum yum. And then uh, uh, the town after that for dinner uh, and campsite which is a total of about 20.2, I think. And uh, um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but they have three hammock spots at this campground. Otherwise, it's a field. So if I get shut out, it's 5.9 miles to the next shelter. Technically, you're supposed to only camp in designated spots in Massachusetts, but I'm not going 28 miles today. So I figure if they're wimpy little plants, can't handle a few hikers, maybe they should just go extinct. I mean, I can handle their mosquitoes, just barely, but I'm still here. I think the plants will be okay, and there's no way I'm walking an extra six miles if I don't get a hammock spot. There are no places to stay in this town, so that's out of the question. Uh, but. Let us have a good day. Oh, Sam. Oh, great Sam. Simeon. Programmer of all that we see around us. <laughs> Zeros and ones. Today I'm going to be a one instead of a zero. Alright, so I think Tomorrow I have to climb up that big one way out there in the back. I think one end or the other of that is Mount Greylock. Unfortunately it's a little cloudy, so if it's clear we might be able to see the War Memorial on top. I think it's a War Memorial. I think a lot of things apparently. 
There's an angry sky. Stay dry, angry sky. Stay dry. Do you have food? Do you have Coke? Cola? Not butter sugar. Everything else is just the wilderness. Back to it. All right, this place, Cumberland Farms, is right off the trail. So I got pizza, bacon cheeseburger, two subs. I forgot that I'm going to another town in about eight miles. Two liter of Mountain Dew, gallon of water, Pop-Tarts, peanuts, breakfast pie, some donuts. Went a little crazy, but I'm hungry. I have reached Cheshire, Cheshire Massachusetts. I'm walking through a neighborhood. It's kind of weird. Just pop off a fairly intense descent down a mountain straight into a neighborhood. People have a pretty nice backyard. Uh, there's more mountains over that way, so pretty nice front yard too, I guess. I'm trying to get to this Father Tom campsite. Um, I'm just hoping that there's no uh, other hammockers there, or at least only two, because there's only three spots. If, uh, if not, I don't exactly know what I'm going to do. Thank <laughs> you.